Hi, I'm Michael Woods. I was recently on a trip to the United States where I visited quite a few golf courses. I counted it up, it was 15 different golf courses in nine states. I also went to four different universities in four states, and I made a stop at Brookside Labs in Ohio too. One of the courses I visited in Ohio was Hyde Park Golf and Country Club near Cincinnati. And I saw something really interesting there, recorded a little video, and I want to share that with you. This is the golf course superintendent, Pat O'Brien, and the lead assistant, Aaron Garrett. You've got turning boards here for your bent grass greens, don't you? Yes, yes. we do, yeah. Can you explain why they're hanging up here? They look fresh. Uh, they don't look like they've been used very much. No, it's a great question. Actually, Aaron and I have been talking about about using turning boards and the lack of using them this year. We haven't used them much at all. And I think we discussed, we attributed to reducing plant growth regulators. Plant growth regulators and also inputs of nitrogen um, and being able to kind of get away from having wear on collars. So we're no longer having to use turning boards. So you've got bent grass greens and bent grass collars. Yes. And you turn the mowers on the bent grass collars, and in previous years you were using the turning boards or the lattice, and this year not at all. No, not at all. And I think and we look at it from an efficiency standpoint now that the amount of time that we reduced in labor, moving them, putting them in carts, and doing all those things, um, and it wasn't a conscious decision to do it. We thought we were gonna do it, but we never saw any wear on the collars. It's been an extremely different, difficult summer. And then we just looked at each other like, yeah, we're not using turning boards. Tracking clipping volume has been instrumental. That's helped yes. us a lot. Um, reducing stacking plant growth regulators, that's been, has been so important. Um, and so it's really eliminated this year. I don't know if it's gonna change next year but it's eliminated us using turning boards. Yeah, it's really interesting. I, that's one I hadn't heard before, and that's why I wanted to record this little video. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, when I visited these courses in the United States, almost all of them were measuring the clipping volume. They were measuring how much the grass is growing above ground as measured by the clippings that are in the basket. That's a really simple thing to do, and it can have all kinds of benefits. I'd never really heard about the one of being able to stop using the turning boards, and I was impressed with that. And you can find more information about this at paceturf.org or asianturfgrass.com. I've written all kinds of things about this, and I continue to share new information about clipping volume, growth rate, nutrient requirements of grass based on how much it's growing, and also the turf GVX, the growth versus the expected growth, which is a really useful way to make adjustments and get turf conditions that are surprisingly good.